Hello everyone, welcome to Knowledge Circle once again. In today's video, we will learn how can we remove vowel from a string. So we will accept a string from user and we will learn how to remove vowel. So first of all, I have written the very first line of the program, import java.util.scanner so that we can utilize the method of scanner class to take input from user. Here I am creating a class, suppose the class name I have given viewer upload. Then after we'll create main function that is public static void main. Then after we'll create the object of scanner class. So we'll write here scanner. Any object name can be given new scanner. Object is created and here we will as a argument we'll write here system dot n. Okay. So after this, what we are going to do that we will accept input from user. So we'll, we'll give a message to user. The message will be system.out.println. Using this method, we'll provide a message. Enter a word or sentence. Enter a word or sentence. So we'll store it in a string variable. So here I'm declaring string s equal to ob dot next line okay so this is declared now uh, now we are going to take we have done the input work it's time to remove the vowel so for removing the vowel what we are going to do is we will run a loop actually we have to check each and every we have to go through each and every character of the string so we will run a for loop initial value of the loop uh, the counter variable will begin from zero and it will go lesser than the length so we'll simply write here the string name and the length method okay and then i plus plus so loop begins so loop begins here and now what is the next task the next work is to check each and every character so what i'm going to do here that i will declare a variable of character type here char c i have declared char c because i need it so i'll write here c equal to s dot char at char at is a method to uh, extract a character at a specific position so we have extracted the character and stored in c and now what we can do is we can we have to look for vowel so vowel we don't know that user has given the uh, uh, string written the string in a, a capital letter or small letter so that's why we will check here if c is equal to a or if c is equal to e if c is equal to i fit again we will write here or operator and we will write here if c is equal to here again we'll compare if c is equal to u So we did it for first five capital uh, vowels one two three four five same thing we have to repeat for small letters also so we will write here small and again our operator if c is equal to a e i so we will write here i and again <coughs> our operator if c is equal to O and the last if C is equal to U. So in this way we did it 10 times. Okay, our work is done. What we have to do is we have to see here. We have to see that if the value extracted at a particular position is vowel, means whether it is a capital vowel or a small vowel, it should be continued. What should be there? Continue. You know continue does what continues a jump statement which skip the uh, statements written after it and take the control back to the next iteration if it is true then continue if it is not true then print it so else if it is not true it means if it is not vowel if it is a consonant then you can simply write here system dot out dot print and what to be printed c to be printed means the character at a specific position which is stored in c that will be printed 
and then close the loop and here you can close the main function in the class so this is how we do so if any vowel will be found that will be skipped if it is not vowel if this condition is not true then the character will be printed so this is how we can simply remove the vowel from a string